What's going on guys, this is Hunter back again with another Dash Design 2 tutorial. Um, today the topic of focus is going to be on the Images tab as well as the Image Selectors tab. Let's jump right in. Just like any of our Dash Design tutorials, we're going to start with, uh, with one of our base setup files. These are, uh, are going to be located under File, Documents, AEM, Dash Design, Setups. Um, this time we'll be using an app specific for the AEM Infinity. Um, and we'll select the, this generic layout right here. It's uh, Bar 1 Black Infinity. can open that up. So we'll jump right into the Images tab. It's the third from the bottom here. This Images tab is where all of the graphics used in the Dash Design layout will be imported. So anything from your splash screen to your alarm screen um, or even to a background on one of the main display pages, those images will all start here um, as well as all of your little icons and that sort of thing. Then there's also going to be um, kind of a, you'll have a default icon as well as the, uh, the icons that pop up. Okay, so we can also import new graphics um, as well as export the graphics that we have in here if you want to use them in a different layout. Cool part about importing the graphics is in the Dash Design install, we include a number of different graphics that you can use in your layout, um, and they will all be right here. Um, so you have a number of different graphics, icons, backgrounds, and that sort of thing bunch of different items to choose from by default. So there's a bunch of different preset items here just ready for you guys, ready to go. They'll all either have a black background or a white background, um, and these will be paired with the uh, the blank back, black or white um, blank squares. Um, we also have a bunch of different backgrounds here that you can use and import and use on your uh, your layout. So we've uh, we've already imported a couple here. So let's uh, now let's show you once these uh, once these are imported how to set these up on your dash. Anytime you want one of these graphics to pop up, you'll uh, you'll use an image selector. So we can go right here. Um, here we already have a couple pre set up, but uh, we'll start from scratch and just make a new one um, to make a new graphic selector. You'll uh, you'll press the plus box right here. You'll want to give it a name. Um, we will name this one uh, Test Turn Signal. This will be a, uh, a simple uh, turn signal image selector that will trigger when the input changes from 0 to 1. So in this case, we're going to use the spare one status input. This will use two graphics. The channel value will change from 0 to 1. Um, we will want it to blink when it's active because that's uh, how turn signals generally work. Um, and then we'll select a graphic. So right here, double click, we'll go to select a graphic. And the default graphic we'll want to have as the blank item so that when, uh, when that input is not active, the turn signal is not um, blinking or, uh, or showing up. So we'll start by selecting that one, then double click, and then we'll select the item that we want to, uh, to show up when that is blinking. Click the three dots, find the graphic, right turn signal. Okay, so now we have the default item, so that's what's going to be showing up uh, most of the time, and then when that input is triggered, this item will show. We'll also add a uh, indicator for right, this will be the test for the right turn signal. Then all we need to do is we'll go to our screens, pick screen 1, unlock the layout, We'll add a new image selector, place that right here, move this over a tad just to make room for that turn signal. So we'll need to set an input, we'll do that by going here to graphic input, and then we need to select the um, graphic selector that we created. So we'll be looking for that name that says test, turn signal right test will be the last one that was created right here. 
we can also preview it as zero and then we can change it to one and you can see that it is active during that time. So we can also run over to the simulator and test this. So if we go to the simulator, run that, um, spare one status is a predefined channel. So we will select show predefined channels, scroll down to spare one status, change the status to on, and you can see now that turn signal is blinking. Also, all of the other items that were connected to spare one status are also blinking, which it looks like there was already a, a turn signal set up on this layout using that input. So another uh, another thing we can do with these image selectors is we can uh, we can make images pop up based on channels we've created, such as this warning coolant temp high channel. Um, so when that warning is active, meaning it changes from zero to one, then the uh, the red coolant temp high icon will pop up. Um, so this warning channel was already created previously under alarms. Um, if you want to know more about alarms, check out the video in the top corner right here. Um, but the warning coolant temp high channel will be active whenever coolant temp is higher than 212. We can uh, jump over to our screen one, have that image placed on screen right here by selecting the indicator coolant temp high channel. And then we can also test it out in the simulator as well. Um, so we'll drop this back down to zero start this and you can see that there currently is no indicator out there you'll see that around the 215 mark coolant high trips and it stays active right there as uh, as temperature increases as well giving you other than the warning bar at the bottom the indicator as well to let you know what's going on so that was uh, just a very brief overview on how to set up um, an indicator. Let me know if you have any questions in the uh, description below. Also, let us know if you have any more uh, video suggestions or things you want to see. All right, take care, guys.